Welcome to the demo of the Read Ability module for Drupal. My name is Tom McCracken, and I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily check the difficulty of your site's content using the Read Ability module. Over the last several decades, several people have proposed algorithms for calculating the level of difficulty to read a selection of content. These algorithms work primarily by counting words, syllables, and sentences to determine a numeric difficulty level. And these difficulty levels that uh, these different algorithms use have been normalized to be the equivalent of the grade level, the grade level equivalency for reading that level of content. The readability module integrates five of these different indexes. Uh, Flesh Kincaid is the best known, and then several other indexes that have been used for several decades to create a grade level equivalent. And it's really kind of a fun little simple module. Let's take a look at how it works. So here I am on a site where I've got the readability module already installed. The readability module actually is an analyzer uh, underneath the content analysis module. And so anything the content analysis module can uh, analyze, which is pretty much everything, uh, the re then we can do a readability scoring on. And so I just scroll down. I'm on a node edit page, and I just scroll down to the analyze content, and up, up pops my uh, readability scores. And so we see here is I've got five scores for each one of the five different algorithms, and then at the bottom I've actually got an average. You also may notice that we've got a yellow around here, meaning a warning, and that's because right now uh, the readability module allows us to set in its configuration a minimum and maximum grade level that we want to target the content for the site. Right now I have it set between 6th grade to 12th grade, and obviously 12.7 is higher than that. Um, so it's giving me that I'm out of my range, I need to bring it down. Uh, so what I could probably do is I could go in and start breaking up some of these words, uh, doing some of the best practices as far as making content more readable. I'll just kind of quickly do a few things here. And then when I'm done, I can click the refresh, and we see that, well, a little bit of work, I've, I've only brought it down a tenth of a grade level. Uh, so obviously we need to do some more work to get to uh, what our site target is. So what should your target readability score be? This is a fun little chart uh, that Philip Chalmers did of Benefit for IT. And uh, kind of just shows some of the different popular things that are out there and what their readability score, what readability level they're shooting for. And so that makes for a pretty quick demo. So I thought it'd be fun just to go and take some samples from some different reading and see how they grade out. So let's take a look at some of those. So I want to just do some general scoring of some content, and so I'll, I'll move away from the node edit form and go to the code uh, content analysis uh, general form, and that'll allow me to just directly enter some content. And so here I have some content from an article uh, from the Wall Street Journal. Paste it in, and sure enough, it's right right about the Wall Street Gen uh, Journal targets a high school junior, and so that's the grade we see. Now it says, interestingly enough, that Re Reader's Digest targets more of a uh, uh, eighth grade level. Um, so here's an article about uh, how to have an uncluttered bedroom in three easy steps or five easy steps. Um, and sure enough, we are looking at a uh, between an eighth grade and ninth grade reading level, and they're doing a good job of targeting their eighth grade reading level. Um, the next content I have is actually it is uh, the Three Little Pigs. Uh, story for children, and uh, when I analyze the content, comes back at a fifth grade reading level. And the one last thing I thought would be really interesting to do uh, was to grab Dries, uh, his his doctoral dissertation. Um, unfortunately, it's not in English, uh, so I can't. So it it wouldn't uh, probably wouldn't translate well. And there's some very long some very long words. Uh, so instead, I actually went and grabbed Fred Brooks's uh, famous dissertation, No Silver Bullet, uh, from 1986. And we took a quick look at it. So it's going to be a little bit of a long analysis. It's a pretty long paper. And it comes back almost a college freshman, maybe a little bit, maybe a little bit less, but uh, he had sort of an interesting kind of creative writing style that uh, maybe put it a little bit less than most academic papers. So I hope you've enjoyed this demo of the readability module. It's sort of a fun little module. It's got some practical purposes, particularly if you've got to make sure that your website content matches a certain reading level uh, or certain for of your target audience. And so that's going to do it for today. So until next time, happy Drupaling!